Real politics now and what could be a real problem for Mitt Romney. Just as he appears ready to put a long expected stranglehold on the Republican nomination comes word he's going to have his work cut out for him once he makes it to the general election as we all expect. That and more as Andrew brings us off here for a quick uh, tour around the world of uh, campaign politics. Well, Rich, we, uh, we often talk about poll numbers when looking at the presidential race, but of course we don't really pick our presidents on who gets the most votes. We pick them based on electoral votes, and on that basis this could be another very close election. Here's the latest breakdown of uh, the uh, nation where we are by USA Today and Gallup. More red states than blue, but Democrats have the edge in most of the states with the most voters and most electoral votes, but the real story here are the states that are in black on your monitor, the 12 toss-up states. That's because excluding all other factors, the Democratic and Republican nominees will begin the general election essentially tied. Each party about 80 electoral votes from victory with 151 electoral votes up for grabs in what USA Today and Gallup have labeled the 12 toss-up states. So all else being equal, this may turn out to be a 12-state election, win the majority of those states and you likely win the White House. And here's where we find the latest problem for Mitt Romney. The paper and pollster targeted just those 12 swing states and in their latest survey, President Obama is out to a nine-point lead in those swing states, 51 to 42. Making matters worse for Romney, his numbers have fallen off a cliff in just the past month. In early March, Romney was ahead by two points in the swing states. Now he's down nine. That's an 11-point swing in just one month. Why this free fall for Romney in the swing states? Women voters. They are abandoning Romney as the GOP's focus on women's issues like contraception, abortion, and more continues. In the 12 swing states, Romney is clinging to a one-point poll lead among male voters, but he's down 18 points among women. And among women under 50, Romney has dropped 14 points in just the past month. Much of that GOP agenda, which some say is anti-women, has been driven by Romney's opponents and even events in Washington. But Romney has taken those positions as his own, which may explain, in part, the sagging poll numbers. And if, as expected, Romney tries to walk back some of those positions and pull an etch-a-sketch, if you will, he may have a hard time. Or so says a man well-versed in presidential campaigns. Mr. Romney has a, a different challenge than I did. Mine was just one long character attack, but we never had to change what we were saying from the primary to the general. The problem that Governor Romney has is his character attack was, you don't really know what he believes. He did this, he says that. And uh, for the, the poor man who got in trouble for the Etch-a-Sketch like remark, etch -sketch. Yeah. Okay. It's like, that's like saying, there is nothing more damaging in politics than telling the truth. I mean, the truth is, that's what he's got to do. All right, Tom, uh, is he right? Well, I mean, I think that the Democrats, as I've said in the past, did a very, very good job in spinning the whole contraceptive birth control stuff. When they originally did the insurance mandate that said, you know, Catholic churches and hospital, Catholic hospitals, et cetera, had to, had to provide this coverage, that should have been the issue. The Democrats flipped it around and made it a woman issue, which was brilliant on our part. And that's going to be, you know, a battle going forward for Romney to overcome. I mean, that is where the gap is right now. It's going to be in those 12 swing states. It's going to be in Ohio, and it's going to be among women. And we're going to look at constituencies more throughout the week. Latinos, also uh, an electorate here that previous Republicans, whether it be Bush, even McCain, four yeah. years ago, were doing better at this point than Romney is. But on the female voter front, can he get it back? Yeah, I mean, I, that's part of, for me, the part I don't understand is I get everybody always runs back to the right. middle, but he staked out his positions on right. contraceptive issues, on social issues, that if you go back to the middle, all it does is feed into that idea that, hey, there he goes again, yeah, change I, his position I, to get I, your vote. I don't think that necessarily matters. I think what, what is going to drive this election towards Labor Day, where I think it's going to be a very, very close election come Labor Day, is whether or not the woman voter cares more about filling up her gas tank at $4.50, because the same women who tended to be pro-choice supported Bush in the 04 election because of national security and care about their family. Those are the overriding things as we get closer to the election. It always comes down to the pocketbook, whether or not Romney well, can make the case I'm better for the country the going for forward. Romney isn't that he may have to flip. It's that he may have to flip again. Yeah. And you, you can get away with it once, but you can't get away with it twice. The, the, there's also, I, th I think the news for Romney is worse than the polling shows. I think there'd be something of what they used to call the Bradley effect. Except I think it's going to be called the fluke effect, where this attack, orchestrated attack on Susan Fluke by the Republican Party, led to women quietly going, nope. And even if they poll Republican women, pro Romney at this point, I think 
that that w will have been in retrospect the key and deciding uh, factor in the election. The, the, I think it's over. Though I will say, uh, you, we saw Romney's poll numbers jumping or sliding 12, 14 points in certain categories in just a month. This is, there's a lot of uh, tumult mm -hmm. in the electorate yes. out there. These numbers are varying faster mm -hmm. than I seem to recall in any other election. Hey, Dominic, it's not over yet. You know, we all talked mm -hmm. about this table, um, Game Change, read the book, we all saw the movie on HBO as well. The idea is, hey, you pick the right running mate here, it can, we saw a turnout with Palin, but the point is, could a running mate really change the dynamic here that much for Romney? The only way I can see that working is if he gives red meat to the conservative base in terms of the ticket. And I, I don't know, I, 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 here's what I do want to say. It's funny you mentioned the Bradley effect, because I really believe that no matter what the gender gap is, no matter- For those who don't know the Bradley effect here, we should explain it to them. Okay, in California. meaning Tom Bradley, it, it was a lock based on polls. African American. African American yeah. mayor of Los Angeles, a lock that he was going to be elected the first black governor of California. Mm -hmm. And folks, based on exit polling, said, Yes, I voted for him, mm -hmm. but it didn't turn out that way, and Bradley lost. And I am telling you that no matter the gender effect, no matter the Latino effect, those are major issues. When it comes down to it, I believe that this fall campaign is going to heat up, and Romney might have a shot solely because of Obama's race. See, I really believe that. But if that. he got elected four years ago, right. and people right. had four but, more years but, to get used see, to but, it, how but, about race okay, being the okay, number okay, among okay, white okay, voters wait, today? Wait, Those wait, independent wait, white wait, voters wait, have wait, left wait, him wait, in wait, wait, And I don't want to dominate the conversation, but let me just say okay. this rather, anyway. rather quickly. Yeah. Um, when Obama was elected the you. first time, <laughs> it was because of the magic effect. It was because it was the first time for history. You can't have it a was, race card it was the sides. first time. <laughs> it was the first time because of the young people. You just, it, it, you just Romney the race effect. You can't. You no, took no, it both no, ways. No. Yeah, it, it, was, it was because of all of these great things. Yeah. But African Americans, a few folks may decide to stay home. And if progressive, a few folks decide you to stay home. You so well. Why don't you just let it go? <laughs> with and, yeah. Okay, I tell you what. Pull this tape the day after the election and see if I was right. And he doesn't. Well, you said everything. And, so and, you're and, 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 you, and you don't you want a far-right vice president nominee. Right. Those people are voting for you anyway. And, and yeah. they'll, but they'll stay home. He's he's. Richard, are you really serious that a conservative Republican that more than anybody cannot stand this president staying home? Oh yeah. If I, I ran, I they're think, not staying home. I think if he, did, if if Romney picked that say a pro-choice female Republican candidate, you would see either a Ron Paul candidacy or a, or a quiet a disassociation from the Republican. You right. are I, so. I, 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 I will keep this debate going on.